Oh, first off, this thing feels this thing feels large. Like you, it, it has that it has that like just large you know truck feel to it. Which hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the all new 2022 Chevy Silverado ZR2. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Schmiller Chevy here in Murray for giving me some time with this ZR2. Check out the inventory in the description down below. And on a side note, my carbine course is available for sale now. So if you're interested in saving time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to that in the description down below as well. Let's get into this review. Under the hood, we have a Nachi aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Now, fuel economy is 14 around town and then 17 on the highway, with power outputs being 420 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. Now let's go over the front end of the ZR2. So first off, we have our 6.2L badge. So you can flex on everyone that you got the big bad boy V8 and of course the ZR2 badge just down below. I love how this hood looks, especially from the driver's seat. It looks absolutely fantastic, just super aggressive, just all of the little elements on it. Notice with the Chevy bow tie, it's hollow. And then you've got the red accenting there on the center. And then you can see here with the little LED light and then notice here with the accenting just down below the headlights uh, definitely a cool aesthetic another ZR2 logo there on the front end and then you can see here with the tow hooks finished in red and then notice where the uh, fog light is all the way down there at the bottom and just again look at all of the different elements here definitely cool there's a lot happening but when you take a step back and you look at everything from the skid plate popping out on the front end and just everything up above, it looks so cool. This is the best looking Silverado in my opinion. Sorry about my shadow here. But I'm going to try to get you guys like a full on center view right there. Just look at that thing. Now coming on the side here, we've got 18 inch wheels and wrapped around that we have 33s in the front and over in the rear as well. I love the appearance of the wheels. You can see the silver there on the outside and then the black in the center has a cool off-roader appearance and look how aggressive these tires are. Now the big thing about the ZR2, other than the fact that it is lifted compared to regular Silverado, is it has shocks from Multimatic, so they're substantially more advanced than what you have on the Trail Boss. I'll show you guys the setup in the rear in just a moment. And then here with the fender flare, that looks fantastic. Got keyless entry for the front door. And then you can see the full side view. Really solid stance on this truck. I love it. And then if we pop here to the rear again, notice the fender flare there. And then we still have leaf springs here in the back of the truck. And then you can kind of see the shock there in the back. It's kind of hidden down underneath and I'll actually pop underneath the truck so you guys can see the setup here a little bit better. Definitely, definitely a cool setup. We'll see how it drives in a moment. And then notice we have our, you know, departure angle exhaust tips, which <laughs> definitely look interesting. And also look at the spare. Got a uh, full spare and everything. So yeah, I mean, Chevy's definitely nailed it from a design perspective. So here's our key fob for the ZR2. We've got the Chevy logo there on the back. We have our unlock, lock, remote start, and then the drop down for the tailgate. Payload capacity is 1,438 pounds. Towing capacity is 8,900 pounds. And uh, I guess I'll just do the rest of the work myself. Slow lowering. I guess it, the tailgate wasn't fully closed. That's why I didn't throw down like normal. Anyways, you can see here, we've got the liner from the factory LED lights here in the back. And then we have a full power outlet in normal Silverado fashion. It also says ZR2 there at the end of the bed. And then we've got the cargo light with the cargo camera there at the top. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see because of the sunlight. And then let's see if it has the raise up function. Nope, so you do have to just lift it up yourself. Finishing things here in the rear. First off, you can see we've got the signature Silverado tail lights here in the back. Another ZR2 logo with Chevrolet stamped into the bed and then Silverado down below. Parking sensors here at the bottom. And then we have the bumper steps which add to the practicality. And from the rear end, this truck actually looks like a, a regular Silverado. Most of like the crazy design stuff happens uh, with the front, other than the fact you can't see any exhaust tips. I guess that's the cool thing. And obviously that signifies that it's a uh, ZR2. Now here's the door panel with the ZR2. So first off, I love this trim piece right up here. And then notice you got padding here at the top. So most of the door panel here at the top portion is covered. And then we have our double stack armrest is what I call it because it looks like this is just right stacked on top of each other. And then look at the stitching. It's like neon bright, which uh, I'm of course a huge fan of. 
Still got like the kind of tubular door handle, a little bit sharper though. One of the speakers for the sound system. But yeah, huge improvement with the aesthetic there. And then here are these seats. Uh, so again, you can see like that neon <laughs> stitching. And then you've got the behind the seats uh, storage, which is definitely practical. And then the padding right here and then underneath the seat as well. Got to grab the grab handle because again, this is that lift from the factory. There's legroom. There's headroom. Notice we've got some cup holders right here. We've got heated seat controls, and then you've got the vents, some USBs, and then of course, cup holder armrest, the most important thing ever. And these seats are actually really comfortable, like they're plush. Let's head to the front. Now let's go over the front door panel. So again, you can see here with all of the texturing, looks fantastic, and then the trim just up above. We've got two different functions for the memory seats, and then you can see the mirrors. They do have blind spot monitoring. And again, the new design with the door handle. And then our double stack here with the armrest and then the neon stitching. All of our window controls and then the mirrors do power fold in. And then another speaker for the Bose sound system. Notice it says ZR2 right there. And then you can see here with the front seats themselves, again with all of the stitching and then notice here, perforated in the center portion. I, I don't know, again, I love this design. It looks really cool. And then the adjustments on the side of the seat. Pedal layout down below. And then notice here we've got our parking brake and then we've got our drive mode slash tow haul select right here. And then we've got auto, two wheel high, four wheel high, and then four wheel low. This is for the heads up display. And then our light controls here on the other side with the fog light, cargo light situation, all in kind of like this whole section. Lots happening. And then notice the steering wheel is power adjustable. Let's pop in. So first off, here is the steering wheel with the ZR2. So you can see we've got the padding all around and then notice the stitching there is darker on the center to kind of match the sporty theme. Controls here for the center stack, voice command, phone controls, paddle shifters for that 10 speed automatic. You still get radio controls there on the back of the steering wheel, as you can see. And then notice here, we've got our cruise control, heated steering wheel function, and then a normal turn signal windshield wiper stock. And well, there's the steering wheel. Now here is the full digital gauge cluster. This thing looks fantastic. So first off, well, of course, low on fuel. That always happens in the Bad Hardy reviews. Um, but you can see you can scroll through a few different menus. Functionality with this is very similar to the previous version of the Silverado, but this just looks a whole lot better from an aesthetic perspective. Now, I can pop on the tow haul mode. Notice it'll show the Silverado towing a trailer. And we have some different drive modes with the ZR2. So notice with the uh, drive modes, first off, we've got normal, off-road, and then we have terrain <laughs> for our drive modes. And notice it tells you what to do when you go into the terrain mode, which is pretty cool. And again, I love how it shows uh, with the animations, especially in the terrain mode where it's like showing it over dirt. I don't know. I like stuff like that. Um, but overall, Chevy's nailed it with this digital gauge cluster. So sorry about the reflections. It's just that time of uh, day. But anyways, let's go over the camera system first. So we're going to pop it into reverse. So notice we got the bird's eye view and we've got a backup camera. This has the full 360 camera system. Resolution is fantastic with this. And so if you're, you know, parking this in a tight parking lot or if you're on a tight trail, like look at that. Look at the wheel shots. You don't even need a spotter with this truck with like how many different angles this has. It, it's just, it's incredible. So yeah, camera system solid. Now moving on from that to the rest of the infotainment system, uh, response time with the screen is really good and notice you can go to the cameras if you want. You got the home shortcut but there's also another one down like look at this. So I can press this and the, the home shortcut does the same exact thing. Um, you have this little split screen here off to the side which you can see you can scroll through a few different menus. Um, so overall, really user-friendly. It's very nicely integrated into the dash and you guys know I already liked Chevy's old infotainment system and so this is just basically improving on what was already amazing. Down here again, we've got the analog home button and then that's for the volume control, lane departure, parking sensors, and then auto stop start. This is for the tailgate drop down. And then notice here for the hazard lights and then next to it, stability control, hill descent control. And then notice we've got a rear locker, but we have front and rear as well. So that's the big differentiating factor between this and other trucks in this segment is this has a front locker as well as a rear locker. Most trucks in this segment only have a rear locker and again, Praise whatever that Chevy finally lets us lock the rear end by ourselves. With the Trail Boss, it's an automated system, whereas this, I can just press a button to do it. It's so nice. Trailer brake control down below. And then notice we have heated, cooled seats here for the front passengers, and then dual zone climate, you know, all the normal luxury stuff. And then we've got some extra storage space right here. And we've got the shifter for the 10-speed automatic, which 
I love the look of this and I love the feel of it. I feel like I'm doing something substantial when I'm going into gear. And then notice a couple cup holders. And then here's the whole center console set up with the phone holder there on the top again. Look at the material use. And you can see we've got the wireless phone charger there. And you've got this bucket that you can pick out and tons of storage space. So super practical. And watch this. Bam! <laughs> I love how the glove box opens on the uh, Silverado. And then just look at the material use there. And it also continues here onto the dash. Definitely a lot more upscale than before. And then here's the bottom glove box. Now popping up top, we have a sunroof here at the top, a regular sunroof. And then we also have a power setting window, of course. You now it's a fully loaded truck, what do you expect? And we have the camera mirror, which you guys know I'm a huge fan of that kind of safety tech. And that's off the top. Let's head to the window sticker. So let's go over the window sticker on this ZR2. So you can first see the uh, standard equipment. So like we have like the warranty information. And then if we come over here to uh, performance and mechanical, <laughs> notice that it says two inch lift monotube shock skid plates. And it's like, you know, it's, it's not really like it's kind of downplaying it in a sense. Like it's not like, oh, this is the special ZR2 stuff because again, it does have a lot of special stuff. But anyways, you can see the rest of the standard equipment here with the ZR2 package, right? And then notice the optional equipment. This one has the technology package, 1900 bucks, uh, and then sunroof. So like the ZR2 comes pretty much fully loaded as standard, but there's a few things you can add. So base price 66,300, and then total MSRP $70,935. And I'm so excited to say this guys, let's take it out and see how this thing drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off here. Here's visibility over the hood. And this is what I'm talking about. Look how cool that looks. And you can see the heads up display now. So like it shows us that we're in two wheel drive and also it shows like the off road status too, which uh, again is cool. And then your speed, all that kind of stuff. And then here's both of the mirrors. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off here in the Silverado ZR2. And I am so excited. Uh, even though this is gonna be, you know, kind of a shorter drive, it's it's better than nothing. I will I will absolutely take it to see how this uh, ZR2 drives. And yes, I know I'm low on fuel. I'm going like one mile, people. I don't I don't need fuel, okay, truck. We just gotta we just gotta see what these multimatic shocks and this 6.2 V8 are all about. So, oh, first off, this thing feels this thing feels large. Like you, it, it has that it has that like just large you know truck feel to it, which is definitely a big plus. And we're gonna pop it into the manual mode actually, because I want to see what this is like with the uh, paddle response and everything. Just um, you know how Chevy tune the 10 speed in this, and I just want to see if it's different from the Trail Boss. So the tuning on the transmission feels feels it, it feels pretty much the same. So I, they haven't really changed anything from a, a tune perspective on the transmission that I can perceivably tell. Also, there's a bug in here, so uh, so yeah. Sorry, bug. Um, so yeah, it, it feels it feels the same from a tune perspective from what I can see. This drives so nice. Wow. Um, so first off, ride quality super smooth actually. I don't know what the uh, tire pressure is uh, set at on the truck right now from getting. Let's see if we can find it. Ah, this isn't this isn't uh, demo mode, so it's yeah. Good luck. <laughs> That's all I have to say to myself. Good luck. Yeah, it's in demo mode, so I'm it's 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 buried somewhere. Um, but super smooth with the ride quality. Even uh, you know, even though it has leaf springs still, it it just it feels like a luxury truck actually. Let's see kind of how the handling is here. Yeah, handling feels great. Wow, I am blind. I want to see how it goes over these little bumps. I'm going to have to make a turn into one of these so I can get back. We'll pick this one. Doo -doo -doo. Hopefully this neighborhood takes me where I need to go. Dampening's really good on this truck. Yeah, so these Multimatic shocks... No outlet, great. <laughs> um, yeah, so these Multimatic shocks... Feel really good. This is actually perfect. I didn't really care about testing the engine out too much in the ZR2 because 
you know, this it's the 6.2 that we've already driven that I've already driven before. I wanted to see how the shocks feel. And we got a bunch of speed dips here, so uh, we'll be able to test out the shocks while I try to find my way uh, back to the neighborhood, back to the uh, Chevy dealership. Um, but yeah, I can tell you, it it definitely feels large. Like it has this. Um, it, it feel like the Ram T Rex and the Ford Raptor feel big. This this feels like on par with that in terms of like how high you are off the ground uh, and the feel of the truck. It, it's it's on par with those two. So if you if you like that like truly like king of the road feel, this will give it to you. Okay, cool. We got two speed bumps here, two compression points. Wow, yeah, dampening's great on this. Really solid. Um, so while I am uh, continuing to try to find my way, I think this I think this will take me out, people. I don't know though. Yeah, I'm, I've gotten somewhere. I think I'm in the right place. Um, yeah, summing things up here with the uh, ZR2. I guess we're gonna have to go through a Toyota's parking lot. We're gonna flex on these Tundras. We got we had two Tundras over there. We're gonna flex on them. Hey, Tundras, this is a real off-road truck. It has tow hooks on the front end. You hear that Tundra? Tow hooks on the front end. <laughs> so exterior wise, this thing looks killer. Tons of road presence. Uh, and I know some people might complain about the 33s, it looks like there's enough room, that, and don't take my word for this, but it looks like there's enough room you'd be able to just throw 35s on it. But again, don't take my word for that. But I think it looks great with the 33s. And then the interior of the new Silverado, this is so nice. Like this is on par with Ford and Ram, in my opinion. Uh, from a material standpoint, and then from an aesthetic standpoint too. I love how this looks. I feel like I'm in this cool futuristic cockpit. And then from a driving perspective, <laughs> love that 6.2. It's fun to drive. Dampening's amazing. These multi-matic shocks are crazy. Front and rear lockers, there's so much to love about this truck. This would be such a fun overlanding slash adventure, adventure truck. And it's still a great daily driver too. Um, so yeah, I guess to fully sum things up, I know a lot of you are gonna be asking me, hey, does this compare to Raptor? Does this compare to TRX? I'll have a comparison up soon. Uh, after, you know, I sit on the driving impressions uh, for a little bit, but what I will end this with is this is pretty much fully loaded, $70,000. Raptor's fully loaded, $82,000 roughly. T-Rex fully loaded, $97,000. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say, but that's the ZR2. Now that's gonna sum things up for our video on this 2022 Chevy Silverado ZR2. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Chevy here in Murray for giving me some time with this ZR2. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I'll see all of you in the next video.